Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you uh, some tips of the trade here since I know that many of you who've watched my videos where I attempt to build a bike or build a PC or do anything mechanical, probably the first thing that comes to mind is, wow, that's the closest you'll ever see to God's hands touching a wrench right there. What a master mechanic. And I understand that there's people like Paul S who work with me, you know, people with that minor experience, 25 years as an auto mechanic, 5 or 10 years in the Marines as a technician and a mechanic who just wish they had the dextile, uh, the Im the ability to improvise the way that I do and innovate new solutions when it comes to anything related to an automobile or a bicycle. Uh, so this is a hall sensor and this is a phone mount or it used to be a phone mount and a hall sensor until I came into contact with another individual on Lee Avenue who appeared to have not tapped up on his blinker fluid recently. Now I did not have the ability at that time to properly fix this because I didn't have all my tools. I just had a few zip ties and some of the, my laptop repair stuff from my apartment. So this, the whole th thing that they, this works is this is a hall sensor and it's going to detect this magnet. So the same way that a MacBook tells that it's closed by a hall sensor in the palm rest detecting a magnet in the screen, this, is, this controller is gonna tell how fast the bike is going by knowing the size of the wheel and then knowing how fast it is spinning. So it's gonna tell how fast it's spinning based on how many times, how many times it goes past in a period of one or two seconds. So the hall sensor is going to detect a magnet on the wheel and it's gonna tell how fast it's going. I also did not have my programming cable on me, so if you're in the same case as me, where you, your hall sensor is damaged by an, by a, an altercation with an individual who ran out of his blinker fluid and you don't have your programming cable and you want the bike to work, I'm gonna show you a way to improvise. So this motor, when it's set to its stock settings, is set in a manner where if it detects that amperage is being being used and that it is moving, but it does it thinks it's going zero miles an hour, it will shut down the motor and it will not allow throttling. Even if you're going, if it cannot sense a speed, it's going to stop. The same way that a current sensing circuit in a MacBook, if R7051 and R7052 are blown on your A202936, it's not going to charge. So. I needed to figure out a way to get this to work. So watch, I'm gonna just put this on the kickstand right now. As you can see, it's using amperage, but it detects zero miles an hour, which means after about 10 seconds, this is gonna die. So this is where the innovation and absolute genius of Lewis Rossman's mechanic skills that Paul could only dream of having someday come into place. So check this out. I'm gonna show you my improvisation so that you can get started using it, even if you don't have all the tools that you need. So this here is a set of magnets that I use to hold screws on my screwdriver when I'm working on machines and I just happen to have a couple of, uh, of them at home. So I'm gonna take this set of magnets and I'm gonna put them right here. And now I'm gonna extend the length of my hall sensor. So the issue that was going on here is that th I, since this mount is broken, I could not get the hall sensor as close to the magnet as needed to be for it to detect it. However, with my patent pending Befang speed detection extending tool, which will soon be available on store.rossmangroup.com. Now, the hall sensor is going to be able to read the magnets as it goes by, because as you can see, it has been extended. So watch what happens now when I run the motor. As you'll see, it's now able to detect how fast it thinks it's going, because it can tell how many rotations are occurring per second. So this is just one of the tools of the trade, just in case Paul is watching and is wondering how it was I, was, I managed to, in such a short time, surpass his 21 years of mechanics training. So this way, in any case, hopefully you can stop being jealous of my skill set and stop, stop Myron with that just look of disdain and jealousy in his eyes. And as always, I hope you all learned something. And I'll see you in the next video.